Yeah, first off, congratulations, guys. Um, I sat in that same seat that you guys are sitting in. Well, we didn't have a rookie symposium, so I didn't sit in this seat. Um, but uh, I was lucky enough to get drafted uh, out of college, uh, 2012. Um, my name's Ethan Finley. I got drafted to uh, the Columbus Crew, and I uh, spent six seasons there, and now I'm actually in Minnesota. Uh, so I, I've come exactly from where you guys are. Um, I feel like I am a, at least some sign of success coming out of college. You see fewer kids coming out of college that are um, being provided the opportunities that we have in this league. Uh, so consider yourself very fortunate. Uh, and I know you guys have worked very hard to be here. Um, so first thing, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm supposed to tell you why I'm here today. Well, I'll tell you why I'm here today. When you live in Minnesota, you take any opportunity to come to Florida, okay? Especially in the winter time. Uh, so that's a real easy one. I don't think our Minnesota guy draftees in here, but it's about an 85 degree uh, difference in temperature. So uh, if it's 24 hours here in, the, in a little bit of warm weather, I'll take it. Um, so like I said, uh, I'm very much like you guys. Uh, I sat in the same seat um, and uh, I was just a 21 year old kid and I wanted to know, hey, why is my contract this? You know, why did this guy get that? And why is this player on a DP contract? What is that? Um, so I started asking those questions, but I wasn't asking them out loud. I was asking them to myself, my own subconscious, I guess. Uh, and I would talk to maybe some guys uh, here and there. And I was fortunate enough to have a great rep, uh, a guy who ended up being on the executive board in my locker room in Columbus, and a guy you probably will hear from, uh, and Will Hesmer. Uh, he was kind of coming to the tail end of his career as I was a, a rookie, uh, had some, some injuries, unfortunately, um, but I was able to learn from him, right? And I would say that, you know, at the time, maybe the union wasn't such a sexy thing for a young guy to be involved in, right? You know, hey, I'm just trying to figure out what car I'm driving or you know, where I'm going to live and, you know, all those types of things, right? It wasn't really something I was thinking about. It didn't matter to me, right? I had a contract. I was fine. What I didn't know is that in those moments as a young player, it was going to be so important for me to understand my situation then so that I could know where we wanted to go, right? And that's what I learned a lot from Will and from the guys who came before me. Um, these guys are torchbearers for, for our generation, okay? And I think of ourselves now as hopefully a torchbearer for you guys. And at some point, like Luis said, we're going to pass that on to you. That's a great responsibility that you have, but I think, you know, you're here for a reason, right? And part of being a professional, in my opinion, is taking responsibility for your, for your actions and for your life. And the PA is going to be your greatest ally throughout your career, right? You're going to have your family, you're going to have your friends, but next to that, you know, you're, you might change agents, you're going to change coaches, you're going to change teammates, all those kind of things. The PA, as long as you're in the MLS, will be your greatest ally. They're always going to be able to answer your questions. They're always going to be doing things in good nature for you. They're always going to be helping you. Okay? So I, that, that's how I would start this. Is just think of that uh, throughout your career. This is going to be your best ally you have. Uh, so 2013, Will's leaving the league. I would say Columbus, we don't really have a, a, a next uh, hierarchy in, in who wants to be involved in the, the Players Association. So I kind of put my hand up. You know, I said, hey, you know what? I want to know more about my situation. I want to know, want to know why per diem is this much. You know, why did I get this $1,000 during the preseason, which you guys are all going to enjoy, hopefully, in a couple weeks. Uh, so I started thinking, okay, let's figure out why. And uh, one thing left to another. Of course, you've heard about the great trip to Las Vegas. It's an incredible trip. Uh, so if you want the free trip uh, or you just want to, uh, you know, go to Las Vegas and, uh, and learn more about the PA, it's... it's oh, they rope you in. Yeah, yeah it's, <laughs> it's, a, it, it's, a, it's a lot of fun. And, and it's true. It's, you know, when you first hear it, you're like, oh, cool, I'll do that. And then you get there and you see the substance and you see the difference these guys are making. You see the difference that the staff spends 11 months out of the year to prepare us for this meeting, to update us on what's going on within the PA. Because at the time, I wasn't on the executive board. Uh, I wasn't even our main rep. Uh, I was just kind of a, a reserve rep at the time, just wanting to know more about it, being groomed into that process. Another year comes, and uh, our rep is gone, so I kind of step in 2014 to become our rep. Two, th I'm in the third year in the league. What do I know about anything? I'm still on a rookie contract, but it was really important because in that 2014 season, I was doing renegotiations. And if I wouldn't have had the resources of the PA and known where the league was going, and what I should be aspiring to get and what my value was in using those resources, I wouldn't have gotten probably nearly the type of contract I would have, right? I had an idea on what player X and player Y was kind of making and why their contract was this way. Uh, and that may help me informed. It, it, it made a good situation for me um, to understand the reasonings behind why I'm in this situation. Maybe I wasn't happy with it. Maybe there was another guy making more, but why was that, right? There's mechanisms that, that I learned that there was the purpose of that. So you fast forward 2015, we have a, a collective bargaining agreement 
um, that gets signed. And I was in the room. What an opportunity uh, to be in the room to really change legislation in this league. And I've you know been there now for five years, and I've experienced it firsthand. But I was in the room. I was looking at 60 plus players. Some of these guys in the back of the room over here were in the same room, and. It was a really profound moment as I kind of sat back and I thought, what we've just done here, you know, some maybe say good, bad, indifferent, we've just changed the legislation and the path for not only myself, but for the next player, right? And over that five years, you know, there's been a lot of good that's come out of that deal. And now you fast forward, we're here today um, to another collective bargaining agreement. And I take at my role now such great responsibility on what that means. Because I think of us as a brotherhood. We're all brothers. We all are, are in a, a unique fraternity to be not only professional soccer players, but to be MLS players together, right? And there's so much history that goes along with that, that you have to take that responsibility and, and think of yourself as a brotherhood because you're going to be rivals, you know, uh, on the field, absolutely. But when the game's over and we have to do something for the good, for the whole, the totality of us all sitting here and for the guys that came before you, it's extremely important that you think of this as a brotherhood and as something that is, is greater than just you as an individual, right? So I joined single-handedly. The purpose at first was probably just to change my own situation. And the reason I'm here standing in front of you today is to better your situation. It doesn't matter to me my situation anymore, right? I don't think of myself anymore. And I, I think I like to share that because there is a little bit of selfishness, all of us, right? You're probably sitting there saying, eh, I kind of want to know what my situation is going to be. But I've learned over time that I can have such a great impact on you guys the next player pool. And the reason is because the guys that came before me had such a great impact on me, right? I heard the stories of them on 12-5, right? What'd you do with 12-5, I said. I said, half the guys today are getting a signing bonus for 12-5. You know what I'm saying? Um, it, it, it's so different, but when you learn and you hear these stories and you respect those guys that come before you, it'll help you to understand what your responsibility is to the guys um, you know, going forward. Uh, so I'll leave you with a little bit about free agency because free agency is going to be probably, we talked a little bit about, but in 2015 when we got free agency for the first time and broke that barrier, um, it was monumental. Uh, it was 28 and 8 and you know, it was something, right? But 28 and 8, that's, you know, that's Luis. It wasn't even me at the time. Um, just barely. Just, just barely. barely. Just but about eight years. It gives him an opportunity, to, two, two things that, that we never had before. We had leverage, right? And you'll learn that over time, right? Some of you probably had a little bit of leverage actually when you were negotiating, hey, do I want to go to Europe here with the MLS or do I want to try a generation Adidas or am I going to sign a senior contract? You had some leverage maybe, right? But that's not, in my opinion, real leverage. What we've done here with some form of free agency is to create you real leverage with your team, right? And that's going to be extremely important as you guys grow in your careers. Uh, and the second thing is, is for other players, we gave them an opportunity to choose, right? An opportunity to choose where you want to play, where you want to live, uh, who you want to play for, do you want to win a championship, do you want to make more money, whatever it might be, right? Everyone has their own reasons of why they, uh, they would choose a certain place. Uh, and those are things we did not have before. You could play out your contract and you'd be stuck in that city. They're just going to re-sign you to another three, four year deal. Um, but now, with a new system here, now we've tried to break that barrier. And now hopefully with this new deal, it's going to greatly impact you guys. You guys are probably going to be one of the first waves of guys that you're going to say, I play out my first contract and now I've got real leverage. Is the club that invested so much in me today as a draftee, do they want to extend me? Or am I going to get the opportunity to go do something, go somewhere else, to extend my career in another place? Um, and I think that's really, really exciting. And I think um, it's something that you guys should really educate yourself with. Because your agents are going to know about it, but I think it's extremely important that you know about it so that when a teammate, when the, the rookies next year come in and they've got a question, you can explain it to them, right? Because you guys are going to be leading them and so on, right? There'll be rookies after them and so on. Um, so uh, be informed, you know, Jeff Lerunowitz said it on there. Um, be informed, that's the bare minimum, right? I think the bare minimum in soccer is, is, is your willingness to work. And you're all willing to work because you're here in this room, okay? But now from, from a PA standpoint, because you have a responsibility, because you are invested, whether you know it or not, it's gonna come out of that first check on the 15th, okay? Um, you are invested in it, so take responsibility for it. Right? You wouldn't just leave an investment in an account and never look at it and not care anything about it. Right? You're invested in this. We are a brotherhood, and that's extremely important that you think about it. Um, we're very open. Whether you're on the e-board, you can come talk to us. Whether you're just a player rep, whether it's a guy in his second year. Um, ask the questions. Go out there. Be informed. Do everything you can to make an impact, not only in your own careers, but on the careers of the guys that are going to follow you guys.